what's up YouTube this is Victor on the let me explain show and today we're gonna be doing a review of this blood pressure monitor by Hylogy so let me just um, put that into focus so that's what we'll be looking at today so let's get right into it so out of the box we have the storage case which contains the blood pressure monitor itself so yep, it's pretty just hard to open so there we go so that's that and we also have the manual which I which I recommend people take the time to really go into the manual because um, it's it can be quite tricky to use if you haven't gone through the manual as would be expected um, what else is in the box so that's basically it we've got a warranty card so we'll put that aside off the bat um, it's a lightweight uh, device it doesn't weigh too much so that's a that's a plus for it I guess um, and it seems to be this pretty much the same construction in terms of the strap and the build as the previous ones. Let's see, the, the predecessor came with batteries, but this one doesn't seem to have come with batteries. Oh, so the batteries are already installed. So that's fantastic. And it's ready to go. So off the bat, it's already trying to get the Sorry about that. So off the bat, it's already trying to measure. And what I'll do is I'll just turn it up because it's really pumping up. And um, so firstly, let's look through the manual and see how you actually work the thermometer. All right, so we, I'm going to put on the, the blood pressure monitor now. And so what you do is you open the cuff and you just slide it over your hand and make sure it's on the front side. And what you want to do is make sure that the, the monitor is in line with your heart. So make sure it goes in line with your heart at that level. That's the one that's recommended in the manual. So that's that. So we're gonna go right into it and see how it works. So for the sake of demonstration, I'll have to tilt it slightly towards the camera so that you can see what's going on. So that's about the position they recommend. So I'll press it to start. So what happens is it, it, the zero flashes for a couple of seconds, then it begins to measure the the blood the pressure. And once the heart um, symbol starts flashing, it's de detected a heart pulse already. So now it's just calibrating the my blood pressure. So I'm at 79, uh, which isn't bad, and my pulse is 90, uh, 90 beats per minute. And in this range, it's, it's showing me that I'm in the orange range. But I think my pulse is rather high because I'm talking and I'm a bit excited about doing this review, so that's why. And um, so the rest of it is pretty basic. You just like the review I did before, you can measure two people. If you can see the symbol up here of the person up there so that's um, you can program it to store functions for two people so what I want to do in this review is basically done show you how to put it on what angle to have it at and um, the basic readings are there what you would do once you've done this is take a snapshot and send it to your doctor if you don't know how to read um, all the numbers but basically that's it that's it's it's a simple device to use and it uses um triple a batteries which are stored back here so two triple a batteries that's all you need for that and i think it's it's a pretty handy um gadget to have in the home if you have somebody suffering from high blood pressure Measuring accuracy, pressure is plus or minus 3 mmHg and pulse is um, minus 5% of um, plus or minus 5% of the reading. Uh, measuring range, um, pressure is 0 to 99 mmH and uh, pulse is 40 to 199 pulses per minute. That's heart, heartbeats per minute. It auto shuts off and blah, blah, blah. Operating environment plus five degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. So it's a pretty easy device to use really. And um, like I said, I do recommend that you get one if you um, have somebody in the house prone to 
to high blood pressure. All right, this has been Victor on the Learning Explain Show. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.